The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org slash action. Supporters of Great River Rescue rallied at Bemidji Bowl over the weekend to fundraise for the animal shelter by taking part in the annual Fur Bowl. Our Josh Peterson shows us how people of all ages work together to raise not only funds, but awareness. For years, Great River Rescue saves and cares for companion dogs and cats and then works to find them a loving home. The shelter is a nonprofit and depends on the support of the local community, which is why events like the annual Fur Bowl at Bemidji Bowl is important to the success of the rescue throughout the year. We use the money to care for the animals, to, to take them in, to give them shots, to spay and neuter them, to make sure that there is staff that's able to care for them continually, and then to adopt them into homes with the responsible pet owners. 19 lanes were filled with fur bowlers of all ages and experience levels, but it's the bowling for a cause that unites this large group. Oh, I think it's great. We're having a great time. I'm not any good at bowling, but we're sure having a good time. For some of those who took part in the event, it's not only about raising money. It's about educating people and getting them involved. The most important thing to do is to get out and make people aware that there's a need and, and go out and drive for it. But you didn't have to bowl to help out with the fur bowl. Local artists turned regular bowling pins into fun works of art to be awarded to the top fundraisers for the event. We have special pins designed by the artists of Gallery North, and uh, and the top fundraisers, they, they get first pick of those pins. For some of these bowlers, one common message unites them. Simply check out the rescue and get involved. Take a little trip down to the rescue here in town, look around, see what we've got down there for animals, ask how you can help. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. The Fur Bowl raised over $7,000. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.